G'day everyone out there in YouTube land. Well, guess what? The CO2 powered mag strike is now finished. Have a look at this mean puppy. So we have the 16 gram CO2 canister running through a beer keg regulator. That goes through a solenoid valve, pumps up the back, and then that goes through and makes everything fire. So uh, some people have asked me on the previous video, why do I make it pump up the bladder at the back? I just found that it gives a much more consistent rate of fire uh, as opposed to if it was going directly into the main mechanism. Uh, I found that about halfway through the, the CO2 canister when it's starting to get a bit cold it starts to really slow down its rate of fire. So if, I'm, uh, if it's still recharging the bladder at the back while I'm reloading, well it makes for a much much better system so I'd say do it that way if you're going to make one of these uh, a lot of 3D printed parts on this so the canister holder here the front end cap the double holder at the back and the chamber expansion uh, this just gives it a little bit more punch uh, per shot and without further ado we'll fire this puppy up and you'll see how many uh, cartridges I can go through on a single uh, on a single canister. Whoops, other way around. How many mags I can go through on a cartridge? Yay, that's better. Alrighty, so we just get a cartridge started, turn it on. Now I should get between six and ten mags for this one cartridge. We'll see how we go. nine almost into the tenth now uh, you probably noticed a couple of them I was missing out on just the last one where a couple others I was dry firing about two or three times after the mag so it kind of works out even I get round about between eight clips uh, usually if I'm really good and don't go any more than 10 shots uh, per mag, I can usually get all 10 out. So, this is the CO2 powered mag, mag strike. Thank you so much for watching and hope this inspires someone to make one of their own.